Hey guys, my name is Woods. I heard about Destiny Rising, and as a veteran of the regular Destiny, I thought I would not play this mobile game. However, I was wrong. Yeah, it is so easy for you to play this game on your PC, and it's not even funny. In any case, I'm going to show you how to get this done if you are a PC player and you are interested in playing Destiny Rising on your PC. You just go through a few simple steps and you are in game. So first thing that you need to do, you need to either go to Google and then Google play Destiny Rising.com. And then once you get to the website and you're going to come here and once you come here, the first thing you're going to see now, you're going to hear a lot of people tell you to download it from the App Store or Google Store, whatever. Don't do any of that stuff. At least in my opinion, you should go straight to Play on PC, download the emulator. Now, if you have a Google account, it's even easier. So once you download the emulator, then you're going to have the option to use your Google account to actually go and uh, download the emulator and download the game and uh, with a few simple steps then you will have the emulator on your pc so now once you have the emulator and pc then you can set it up the way you want to but i'm going to show you what i had to do on mine you're going to see the emulator on your desktop just open it up and let me bring this over here and then uh, you're going to have something like this. It's called the Mumu player. And you're going to have all these options. So you're going to see this right here. So if you click on this, this is going to launch the game. So we're not going to go through this yet. So the first thing you need to do, you're going to go to the three dot right there and just click on that. And then this, you can just device setting right here. And you're going to have these options. You got performance option. And you can just go through it, but the option that I chose is Vulcan Exclusive. This should be the default option. And this is the one that works very smoothly, no issues. And I've played a game for over an hour and everything works fine. I already unlocked two characters. It's good to go. Now you can try different things if you so choose, but I stick with Vulcan. And then if you go down, you can see performance settings. I keep my own custom now, it depends on what PC you have, then your option might be different. But this is what I have. I'm just showing you what I have, and everything is working great. Force use of discrete graphics card. It's this setup now. Again, you can just choose to do different things, try different things to see what works for you. All right, now for display, you have different options as well. Now, mine, as you can see, it is on settings, but you can just go here. You can click on tablet or whatever you want to do. Whichever one is going to work for you, just choose a different one. Mine, since I'm using a 4K monitor, so I put mine on 4K and it selects this for me and I am good to go. And you can go down and do some of the settings. Uh, as you can see, the maximum FPS, I, I put mine at 120. And then uh, everything else you can choose different things, but again, this is what I have right here. Everything is working good. And then you can have go to sound and do all that stuff, and uh, you should be good to go. That's basically all there is. You can go through the options and see what works for you, but that's basically all there is to it. So now we are going to go and launch the game, and I'm going to show you how everything is working inside the game. All right, guys, so I launched the game from the emulator. And as you can see on the screen, and uh, you're going to go and uh, go to Destiny Rising. Then the game is going to go through its process, and then it's going to give you the option to sign in. Like I said, if you have a Google account, then you can use your Google or whatever that you use in the beginning to log in into the game. Now, if this is your first time, you can just go through that and create that. But since me, I've already played the game, so I get a login record. So I'm going to go through this option. Now I am inside the game. I've already made progress into the game. Again, this is a mobile game that you can play with mouse and keyboard, but 
controller is also available. So I am going to play with the controller because I am more comfortable with controllers. So the controller is already set up. If you are someone that play PC game, you should already have a controller set up for your PC game and that will work. It should recognize it automatically. You don't have to do extra setup, but there is an option for you to set up your controller via Bluetooth or whatnot. So you should be fine playing with a controller. So I'm going to make sure that my controller is on. Now that my controller is on, I can either control it with the mouse or with the controller. So what I'm going to do right now, now I'm going to go and make sure that I am on full screen. So for me to do that, I can go to the three dot right here and then go to window management. And then I'm just going to put my on full screen. So now it's on full screen and you have the option within the setting. You just use your escape button on your keyboard and then you can bring you to the settings and this is where you can set up extra setting inside the game and you can go to the, the controls that's like for instance you here then you can go to general and in general just go through all that stuff and set it up the way you want you just go to effect and then so you can see the first person perspective for the field view i put mine all the way and for the third person perspective field of view i put mine all the way and for motion blur i hate this stuff so i don't want no dizziness so i make sure that this is off and then for screen shake i also make sure that this is off but that is just my settings you can just do whatever you want you can scroll down put mine on 3d you can do whatever you want in those options i'm just showing you what i have and then for sensitivity and you can just go and uh, just go through the option. Uh, do whatever you got to do. Just go through the settings and see what's going to work for you. And for the controller, and you will see right here that it shows you what each button does. So you can just go through that, make copies of them. Whether you're using an Xbox controller or PlayStation controller, it shows you all that option. And then you got control settings. So you can go through all that stuff and mess around with things if you want to. And for mouse and keyboard, same thing. You got all this thing right here. And you scroll down, you get for audio and graphics. And this is what I have mine on it, this inside the game. I have on balance, but you have an option, ultra. And then for the frame rate, like I said in the beginning, max 120. And then for the texture precision, I keep it on HD. Like I said, it's dealer's choice. And uh, again, accessibility. We can go through all these things right here and uh, set them up the way that you want. And uh, yeah. And uh, just go down for privacy. You can set it up the way that you want as well. Whether you want to private or visible to everyone, just go through all the menu and do what you got to do. And uh for other, you got all those options right here. And then once you are happy with what you get, then you can just close it and you are in the game. And you can play the game, do your missions, do whatever. Again, this game is a mobile game. You're playing on PC. It's a gotcha game, they call them. So you might end up spending money if you don't control yourself. But you don't have to do any of that stuff. I already unlocked two characters by just playing the game and do the missions that they ask you to do and progress into the game. Now, that's one thing that I hate is that stupid chat thing on the bottom. I haven't figured out how to get rid of it in this game yet, but because I only started not too long ago. And you can go to the menu if you want to switch character. Like I said, I already unlocked two characters. This guy, it'll give you this guy by default. And then after you play a little bit, you unlock this guy right here. Uh, I, I believe this is the equivalent of a Titan. So it does all Titan stuff. You, you'll know. And uh, you can go to the Relic Ability. You can see all the stuff right here. The abilities are locked right now. And you can go to the Talent Tree and see all these things right here. Yeah, so you just got to play the game and 
make yourself familiar with the game and you should be good to go. So this is very nice. It is a very fun game so far. Again, like I said, you might have to pay money to get stuff if you can't control yourself. And uh, there are a lot of other characters that you can uh, mess around with. So if I go here to the character menu and you go to archives, you can see there are a lot of other characters um, that you can choose from. But you should be able to unlock them if you play the game a lot. But I think you can also buy them if you want. Yeah, and then there is a loot box option. Let's see. Let's go back. Um, this thing right here. Yeah, you can go just go through this thing. I I'm not an expert on this stuff right here. I was just messing around with it earlier. So you can just do drawing, and uh, yeah. Let's see what happens. Loot box, right? <laughs> I heard that you can get characters from uh, from this. I guess I just got this one. Nay. Yeah, I I didn't pay any money for it. I I just got it. I I guess that's. That's how it works. So if you are lucky, then you can get stuff. And as you can see, I just unlocked this character just by doing the box thing. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's basically all we have. I show you how to download the emulator. I show you the game is playing very smoothly. You can just go through the missions. I show you what not to do as far as paying for things. Yeah. I think you are good to go. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're playing the game on PC. How do you feel about the game? Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.